This week in news surrounding Israel, arrested for blowing shofar outside the Temple Mount. That's the headline. Stay tuned for all the details. Well, shalom, everyone. Welcome once again to this week's newscast. I'm Robert Gottslig, your host. And around a couple of weeks ago, Temple Mount activists were arrested for blowing a ram's horn, a shofar, just like the one I'm holding here, and they blew the shofar at the Eastern Wall, at the Golden Gate. And although the courts have ruled in their favor to be able to blow the shofar wherever they want, the police, however, arrested them anyways to really appease the Palestinians and to try to prevent any kind of uprising. Of course, so you know, friends, Israel has sovereignty over the Temple Mount as a result of the reunification of Jerusalem in the Six-Day War. But instead of enforcing their sovereignty in 1967, Israel, with pressure from the world, gave custodianship to the Jordanian Waif and ultimately to the Palestinians. And instead of the site being open and free for people of all religions, the Palestinians, really in defiance of the agreement in 1967, basically do whatever they want. And well, Israel, well, they continue to allow it for the most part. Well, what does the God of this universe have to say about all of this? Very simple. Jesus said in Luke chapter 21, verse 24, that Jerusalem would be trodden down by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled, which friends will continue all the way up to the end of the future yet tribulation period. And then we're going to see at the end of that, we're going to see the preeminence. It's going to shift from the Gentiles to the Jewish people as Israel's Messiah Jesus returns. And, you know, I have to laugh a little bit because the Muslims is what they did at the Eastern Wall by the Eastern Gate or what's called the Golden Gate. They placed a cemetery in front of there to prevent Israel's Messiah from returning. Let me read to you Zechariah chapter 14 verses 3 and 4 and a few verses from Psalm 24, as the God of this universe is going to gather one day and have a showdown with the nations that come against his people, Israel. Listen to this. Then the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations as he fights in the day of battle. And in that day, his feet will stand on the Mount of Olives, which faces Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall be split in two from east to west, making a very large valley. Half of the mountain shall move toward the north and half of it toward the south. Now, let me read to you just a little bit here from Psalm 24. This is a messianic psalm, and this is what we read. We read, The earth is the Lord's, and all its fullness, the world, and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? This is speaking of Mount Moriah, where the Temple Mount is. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. This is speaking of the Messiah. He's the one that's going to have clean hands. And I can guarantee you in the millennial kingdom, when Israel's Messiah returns, it's not going to be Islam that's going to be standing up there ruling the roost. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to be Israel's Messiah ruling and reigning from Jerusalem on top there as the preeminence shifts to the Jewish people. And then look what we read in verse 7. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Lift up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory, which is none other than Israel's Messiah, Jesus. So do you think that the Muslim graveyard is going to do anything to prevent Israel's Messiah from returning? <laughs> no, not at all. And I can assure you, friends, that the Gentiles' times is coming to an end. And when Jesus returns, the Jewish people will finally be free to rejoice and blow their shofars as they celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the King of Glory. And with that... And until next time, thanks for joining us on another episode of In News Surrounding Israel. God bless, friends.